going on Arizona sports fan family? Thank you so very much for tuning back in. I really do appreciate it. Now in this video, I wanted to talk about JC Horn's Pro Day. Now there's been a lot of mocks out there, not only from me, but a lot of national people out there and a lot of Cardinal fans that are saying JC Horn would probably be one of the best pickups to get 16th overall for the Arizona Cardinals. But after the Pro Day, ooh, I don't know if he's going to be there, guys. We're going to go ahead and dive into this deeper. Let's roll that intro. Guys, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to talk a little bit about J.C. Horn. Now, if you do not know who he is, he's probably one of the best DBs that are coming out into the draft uh, this year. Now, in everybody's expert opinion, there's three different DBs that are like the probably one of the most sought after. It's going to be none other than Patrick Sertan, Caleb Farley, and J.C. Horn. Now, there's a lot of mock drafts that are mocking to get J.C. Horn over to the Arizona Cardinals. What is the biggest need after free agency for the Arizona Cardinals? DB and this would be an awesome awesome prospect for the Arizona Cardinals to get in the 16th overall spot but after his pro day uh, which happened a couple days back he really made it difficult for him to possibly fall to the 16th overall for the Arizona Cardinals to, to possibly pick up here guys so we're going to talk about his pro day and and who other options for the Arizona Cardinals to possibly get at the 16th overall spot at this point but we are getting into mock draft season which I'm absolutely excited for as of right now we're sitting we have about um, a little bit over a month before draft night and I could not be more excited to start talking about mock drafts reacting to mock drafts and, and seeing all the different possibilities for the Arizona Cardinals to uh to take a draft night Let's go ahead and talk about J.C. Horn here a little bit. Um, he did have three major stats that basically a lot of people were super wowed about. Uh, one of them being his vertical jump. He, he jumped 41.5 inches, very, very high. Um, in terms of his broad jump, 11.1 feet. <laughs> That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy to me. Now, the one stat that really kind of like opens my eyes, like, my goodness, wow, his 40 that he ran. He ran at 4.3940. That is fast. That's absolutely fast. Now, this guy is over six foot, over 200 pounds, and probably one of the most physical DBs coming out of the draft, which I really liked about uh, JC Horn coming out of his college. So really excited to see what happens during draft night. But this was the player that a lot of fans wanted the Arizona Cardinals to get. A lot of people's minds were set up already. We need a DB. Patrick Sertan's going to go. Caleb Farley's going to go. And we need to get JC Horn. Now, everything was falling good. Everything was falling into place until a couple days back. There was news that came out that Caleb Farley uh, probably seem to be maybe number one or number two, just really depending uh, whose draft board you're actually asking. He has to go through back surgery. So he didn't get through his pro day. Now, I don't know the extensive of the amount of his back surgery, but back surgery is back surgery. Now, what that means is basically his stock for his draft that a lot of people were mocking him going between like the, is it the, the ninth or like the 11th pick around that time frame. That's going to get thrown out the window, in my personal opinion. This is going to hurt his draft stock. A lot more uh, teams are going to be a little more weary about picking him up. So what does that mean? Now we have left with Patrick Sertan, and now we have left with J.C. Horn. Now, if you take a look at the, uh, the draft order, there's going to be some teams that want to get D.B., and what does that mean? The Arizona Cardinals pick at 16, and if, if, his dra if Caleb Farley's draft does fall then J.C. Horn won't be there for us. And that is absolutely not good for this Arizona Cardinal team. I want to get J.C. Horn at all means possible at this point. But I get it. We can't really predict what happens in draft night. But we can actually take a look to see what different scenarios we can do. Now, I have one that I'm really, really intrigued about. Now, let's say, for example, we live in a world where J.C. Horn does end up getting taken by one of the teams before the Arizona Cardinals comes and Caleb Farley's still there because, you know, obviously back surgery. Would you guys be willing to take the jump if he's able to come, you know, during the first or the regular season? Obviously, my draft, my dream scenario for a first round pick is I want him to be an absolute starter. Now, he could miss a couple games in the beginning. Maybe we have some DBs that are going to, you know, take priority over him. That's completely fine. But I want him to be an absolute starter. If he's not starting in the third game or the second or the fourth game, I'm going to be like, my goodness, well, what are we doing with what are we doing with the first round picks? But anyways, um, what I would think if JC Horn isn't there, would you guys be willing to take Caleb Farley and, and, and take a swing and be like, is he going to be that same type of playmaker 
uh, going into the draft after his back surgery. I, I think he will be. I really do. Uh, but there's also the possibility that all three might get taken before the Arizona Cardinals. Then what do you do then? Now, I think that it would be really cool for the Arizona Cardinals to possibly trade back. If we can trade back to maybe the Chicago Bears, because Obviously, the fan base is absolutely mad at them that they have not got the quarterback that they promised that they were going to get, which is Russell Wilson. But why not? What if some what if a quarterback falls to the 16th spot and they're really scared that somebody else is going to try to come in and swoop in and, and get that player? Maybe con contact Chicago Bears and say, "Hey, we can give you this uh, pick if you give us your pick, and then maybe we can maybe we can recoup another third round, maybe another fourth round, something along the lines." Right now, we only have four picks in the NFL draft, which is not very good. But I, I mean, I'm kind of glad we gave up our third for a bona fide starter at, in, in terms of getting Rodney Hudson. So I, I don't really mind there, but. There is that scenario. Would you be willing to trade with the Chicago Bears if the uh, the option presented itself? And what I mean by that is if a quarterback falls and they really love that quarterback, can we trade back or would you be willing to trade back? Now, if we do trade back, we're going to be in the 20s. We can still get maybe a Greg Newsome, in my personal opinion. We can even get Asante Samuel, which is another DB. Options are open out there. Now, obviously, I, I think in a perfect world, I would love to stay at 16 and get... JC Horn if he's there, but if he's not, obviously we have to talk about um, a, a lot of different options that we have here, guys. So let me know what you guys think. What would you do in the scenario where if JC Horn is not there for the Arizona Cardinals at 16th overall, <laughs> instead of just panic, what would you guys do? Put everything on the comments below, guys, and don't forget to smash the like on this video. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to the AZ Sports Fan on YouTube. Thank you so very much for watching, and I am out. Thank you.